Right now, state unions are suing to overturn Scott Walker's Act 10 law. We'll hear what the former governor thinks of that legal action. Plus, dreams come true as local athletes secure spots for the 2024 Paralympic Games. We'll hear from players and coaches on their epic journey to play for Team USA. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. Well, we've made it to the end of another work week. If you have any weekend plans you're looking forward to, tomorrow should be the nicer of the two days. At least temperatures should remain above normal, probably all the way through next weekend. Let's check the first warrant forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Well, we had a little round of snow and a mixture of rain and snow, especially from Madison to the south and east during the afternoon and evening hours. Now things have kind of settled down. Time lapse from the Platteville Creepy Radio Skycam shows just cloudy skies for much of the day. They just had a very little bit of snow that was late in the afternoon into the early evening hours. But as you can see on Doppler track, that batch of snow that we had in southern Wisconsin has now moved across Lake Michigan. There's another batch of snow across parts of eastern Iowa, but that's heading more toward northern Illinois. Uh, six hour future track radar shows most of that snow staying south of the Wisconsin Illinois state line. High temperatures today held down because of the clouds and the precipitation. 35 Madison, 37 in Janesville. Most areas, though, were above the freezing mark. Right now, temperatures are already in the teens in west central Wisconsin, down to 20 in Camp Douglas, but still 34 in Janesville, 32 in Monroe, and 32 in Madison. Here in Dane County, it's 33 in Middleton, 32 in um, Stoughton, and 32 in Sun Prairie. Just cold enough for some of that snow to stick to the ground. Look for mostly cloudy skies overnight. It'll be mild with patchy fog, maybe a flurry in a couple of spots. Low temperature dropping to around 30 degrees. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast that does include some more rain and snow from tomorrow night into Sunday. It's the new skiers and snowboarders have been waiting for. Tyrol Basin is now open for the season. Well, sort of. Today was opening day for the ski area near Mount Hora, but only for those who bought a season pass plus. The plus pass option allows for entrance during early and late season dates. If you just have regular season passes, you can upgrade this weekend at Tyrol Basin for $50. And here are the early season hours. Now through December 19th, Tyrol will be open from 4 to 9 p.m. on Tuesdays and Fridays and from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. And the largest ski swap in the Midwest returns to UW-Madison this weekend. We're talking about the 59th annual Hoofer Ski and Snowboard Resale. Whether you ski or snowboard, there are plenty of items for sale at prices much cheaper than if you had to pay brand new. It's the biggest fundraiser of the year for the Wisconsin ho Hoofers. All the money goes right back to the Outdoor Club to continue its adventures. If you have something in mind you're looking for, get to Union South early tomorrow morning. The doors to the Union open at 7 and the sale starts at 8. Um, it does get pretty busy right away, so we recommend that if you want a first look over everything to come at 7, if not sooner. If you aren't able to get there tomorrow, the resale continues on Sunday, but only in the morning. Here's a look at all the information you need to know. For more details, visit Hoofers ns.org. That was business as usual for the Badger volleyball team tonight. Inside the Fieldhouse, their second sweep in as many nights, advancing them to the third round of the NCAA tournament. News 3 Now Sports Director Zach Hanley joins us with the highlights from tonight's match. Well, how sweet it is, right? Well, to get back to the Sweet 16, Wisconsin had to get past a familiar opponent in Miami, a team they swept back in September. The first set was a close one. Badgers had to battle back, but they were ready. Temi Thomas Ilara introduces the Hurricanes to Temi time. She had 10 kills on the night and was one of three Badgers with double digit kills. Bucky gets the sweep in straight sets. So every year since Kelly Sheffield took over the program, Wisconsin has reached the Sweet 16. Hear what the Badgers have to say about their performance coming up later in sports. Zach, thank you. Following the filing of a lawsuit that seeks to strike down a major bargaining law in Wisconsin, we caught up with former Governor Scott Walker, who signed it into law. When Act 10 passed back in 2011, you'll recall hundreds of thousands of protesters marched around the Capitol for weeks on end, protesting the bill that would ban collective bargaining from most state employees. Yesterday, seven unions filed a lawsuit hoping to reverse the law. In the past, both federal and state judges have opted to keep the law in place, but the new liberal Wisconsin Supreme Court could decide to overturn it. This has been upheld multiple times over the past dozen or so years. Court after court has said this is absolutely constitutional. Uh, so my hope is that uh, the new majority on the Wisconsin Supreme Court doesn't cave the political pressure, but rather follows the precedent uh, that was set at both the federal and the state level in the past. 
And Walker says he could consider intervening in that lawsuit. Democrats in the state Senate have picked a new leader, the caucus electing Senator Diane Hesselbein of Middleton to replace Melissa Agard as minority leader. It comes a day after Agard announced she's running for Dane County Executive next year. In a statement, she says, working together, we have great opportunities ahead of us. As leader, I will ensure that everyone has a voice. I pledge to make every member of our caucus and the people we represent a priority. Hesselbein's selection as minority leader comes one day after Senator Kelda Royce told News 3 Now she would seek the position. City officials say Metro Transit provided more than 1 million rides in the Madison area in October. It is the first time since before the COVID-19 19 pandemic, the transit system has reached that monthly threshold. Sunday. The total is also the highest well, monthly ridership figure months. since February 2020. Sunday, That's despite Metro Transit no longer transporting middle school students to class. Still, city officials have acknowledged the increased ridership and redesign have posed problems for riders. A number of changes are set to take effect on Sunday to speed up service, including adding buses on key routes and shuttering 15 bus stops in parts of Madison. Tonight, some current and former University of Wisconsin Whitewater athletes are sporting some impressive new bling. Armand Rahman sat down with some of the Warhawk wheelchair basketball players, part of Team USA after they got back from qualifying for the International Paralympic Games set for Paris this summer. The Warhawk men's and women's wheelchair basketball teams may just be starting their season here this weekend, but some of their coaches, players, and former players are already coming off a major victory. You may be looking at the next crop of international athletes because UW-Whitewater seems to know a thing or two about churning out Paralympians. I won a silver medal last year in Brazil, and this, this was nothing like it. It, was, it definitely topped it for sure. Josie DeHart just graduated last year and is one of the three former Warhawk women who helped Team USA clinch victory over Canada. It's, it's incredible. We're actually, we're all super close. We're all good friends off the court, so I think that's why we play so good together. We have really good chemistry off the court. <laughs> Love for your team and love of the game are all these athletes needed at the Parapan Games in Santiago, Chile. There'll be like thousands of fans in the crowd sometimes, and you kind of just zone them out, like you don't even really notice them half the time. Um, so it's just like completely focused on basketball. Talon Jordan is fresh off his gold medal win with the men's team, but he's already got his eyes down the court. But it's going to be a completely different story when we get to Paris, and it's all the, like the best teams in the world. After this weekend's college tournament, he's got a week off, then back to training, juggling his last year as a Warhawk and only his second as a Paralympian. It's a little bit weird. Uh, I'm, a, I'm more of a leader here, but there I'm brand new. I uh, kind of listen to everybody there. Well, here I can, I don't want to say give orders at all, but I can uh, help talk people through things, whereas on there, I'm the one being helped. Adding to the weird dynamic, right by his side on the international stage Points, Jacob Williams is his college first. coach. I know how, know how they play and everything like that, so it's really easy, and I'm just extremely proud of both of, the, of, both of them. They worked really hard, and um, I'm definitely happy to uh, be their coach and their teammate. Warhawks that flew the nest yeah. and are en route to Paris. So cool. it's, it's a dream come true. I've wanted to play on Team USA ever since I started wheelchair basketball, so it's, it's definitely a dream come true for me, and it's an honor to represent my country. The 2024 Paralympic Games will be in Paris and start at the end of August and run through the beginning of September. In Whitewater, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Congrats, we wish them the best of luck. A popular holiday movie, of course, is Home Alone, and the star of that film received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame today. Macaulay Culkin has come a long way since portraying little Kevin McAllister in the 1990 film. The 43-year-old became emotional and was seen wiping away tears while listening to a speech given by his former on-screen mom, actress Catherine O'Hara. She spoke about Culkin's evolution in the 33 years since filming both Home Alone films back in the 1990s. O'Hara added that the franchise is and always will be a beloved global sensation. Well, more than a year after being elected to Congress, George Santos is now former Congressman George Santos. The House voted to expel him today. Santos survived two previous expulsion votes, but there was growing momentum to remove him after an ethics report determined he exploited his candidacy for profit. He becomes the sixth lawmaker to ever be ousted from the chamber. Santos faces 23 federal charges that include various types of fraud. He's pleaded not guilty to those charges. Today's 
resolution passed 311 to 114, with 105 Republicans voting in favor of expulsion. Of Wisconsin's Republican House representatives, two voted to expel Santos, Glenn Grothman and Brian Stile. Well, Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to ever serve on the Supreme Court, has died at the age of 93. Well, the court says she passed away due to complications from dementia. She was appointed to the high court by then-President Ronald Reagan back in 1981. O'Connor would hold her seat on the bench until her retirement in 2006. She was a moderate conservative who upheld abortion rights and affirmative action. Now to Gaza, where Israeli airstrikes resumed after a week-long ceasefire with Hamas. Both sides accused the other of breaking the ceasefire terms. As Bradley Blackburn explains, Israel is now warning civilians to leave parts of southern Gaza. Israeli military flares lit up the night sky over Gaza after a day of heavy bombardment. <laughs> Airstrikes obliterated buildings in southern Gaza, an already congested area where hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have relocated to avoid intense fighting in the north. Gaza health officials say nearly 200 people were killed and approximately 600 were injured, overwhelming hospitals. <laughs> this Palestinian girl cries, I don't know where my older brother is. Israel blames the resumption of fighting on Hamas. Unfortunately, Hamas decided to terminate the pause by failing to release all the kidnapped women as it was obligated to do so and kidnapped children and by resuming rocket fire. A spokesperson for Hamas blames Israel, saying its leaders rejected multiple ideas put forward by mediators to extend the ceasefire. The seven-day pause in fighting allowed for the release of more than 100 hostages held by Hamas and 200 Palestinians who were imprisoned in Israel. Before leaving the Middle East, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken also blamed Hamas for breaking the ceasefire and praised Israel for taking steps to protect civilians. Israel's already moved out on, uh, on parts of that, including uh, sending out information, making it clear where people could be in safe areas in, uh, in Gaza. Israel published a numbered evacuation map of Gaza and told residents to know their number in case of an evacuation. It's not clear how Israel plans to alert residents, and with large swaths of Gaza now in ruins, there's also the question of where evacuees would go. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. And more local stories are ahead at 10. If you are good with making guesses, listen up. Correctly pick the date when Lake Mendota freezes over and take home a big prize. We'll share who's behind the contest and what you could win. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance? Uh-huh. <laughs> you can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. You know where he is? To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. 
506-506-5596 or visit www.kwwf.org. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance. Uh-huh. Shh. You can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. Let's get this party going. It's a Jennifer Hudson Show party, people. Jeannie Mai is here. Yo, let me hear it, Bay Area! Plus, tennis hotshot, Nick Kyrgios. You're pretty much a pro. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Well, away up north where the air gets cold, there's a tale about Christmas that you all been told. The state capitol getting into the holiday spirit today. Live music from an orchestra and the UW Medicine Mad Hatter a cappella group led up to the lighting of the 32 foot tall balsam for Christmas tree. The tree is filled with ornaments sent in by families from every corner of Wisconsin. Several UW Madison professors will be among the more than 60,000 people gathering in Dubai for the United Nations annual climate conference. And one of those professors is Jonathan Patz. He studies how climate change impacts our health, a topic that for the first time this year has an entire day of the conference dedicated to it. Patz from UW Madison spoke to us this morning from Dubai telling us he is inspired to be surrounded surrounded by people from around the globe working toward a better future. And options for um, going around and, and, and meeting bright people with great ideas is, is enormous. It's also tiring and it's, uh, I, I put more steps in today than I can imagine. To see the, the um, commitment and the concern, uh, especially from young individuals, is, is inspiring. The conference has started strong. Yesterday, delegates approved the creation of a fund to help vulnerable countries recover after climate-related natural disasters like floods and drought. Think you know when Lake Mendota will freeze over? Guess correctly, and you could win a $1,000 Land's End gift card. The Clean Lakes Alliance bringing back its Mendota Freeze Contest for the 12th year. To submit a guess, all you need is an internet connection. Clean Lakes Alliance says frozen lakes are important to our ecosystem, allowing different plant life to grow and others to die off. But it's not just the ecosystem that benefits from the freeze, humans do as well. You know, when they freeze, they're our largest parks. And it's the sort of this unexplored or uncharted territory for I think a lot of people, even those of us that live in the greater Madison area, maybe have never been out on a frozen lake. And so to have that opportunity and see different parts of the city from a different angle, it's really a reward that we all have here for living in this area. And if you want to submit a guess, here are a few things to know. Last year, it froze over on Christmas Day. The median freeze date is December 20th. If you'd like to submit a guess, we've attached a link to do so. Just look for the story at channel3000.com. Anyone submitting a guess may want to consult with this guy, Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti, nope. who's back with another check of the first one. Ineligible. Ineligible. No, you, 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 don't, uh, you don't make those <laughs> predictions on lake freeze over dates? No, but I will say it probably will be later this year. I mean, mm -hmm. the lake waters have been relatively warm. The temperatures mm -hmm. have been warm and it looks like we'll be above freezing every day for about the next 10 days. Kind of hard to make ice when it's right. that mm -hmm. mild. True. So. But we did have some snow tonight. Uh, three things you need to know in our forecast. Look for a dry day tomorrow with cloudy skies and mild weather. High temperature around 40. That's not going to make any ice. And then some rain and snow showers uh, tomorrow night into Sunday morning. Uh, those will be winding down Sunday afternoon. And then more mild weather with high temperatures in the middle 40s by the end of next week. High resolution Doppler radar. The snow from this evening is pushed off to the east. There are some flurries down to the south across parts of Iowa and northwestern Illinois. Most of that should stay south of the uh, Wisconsin Illinois state line. The second batch heading more toward the northern suburbs of Chicago, maybe Rockford, Illinois. And six hour future track radar shows most of that snow staying along and south of the Wisconsin Illinois state line. But tomorrow night, we'll take a look at future track beginning about midnight tomorrow night, and we'll start to see some rain and snow showers moving in. Notice the temperatures, mid 30s. So if there is snow, it'll probably be melting as it, as it falls. Farther to the north and west, up toward Camp Douglas, north and west of the Dells, Richland Center, those temperatures might be cold enough to have at least a little snow stick to the ground. Uh, most of the snow will be through during the morning hours on Sunday. By noontime, everything starts to shift to the north and east, and by that time, again, look at those temperatures, mid to upper 30s. So. If there's snow on the ground, it'll start to melt again, and high temperatures on Sunday will be in the uh, probably the upper 30s. If you melt down the snow or add in the rain, probably looking at about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of precipitation additionally for tomorrow night into Sunday. As far as snow is concerned, though, 
probably less than an inch unless it's in an area where it gets a couple degrees colder. Again, more likely northern and western parts of our viewing area. Viroqua, for example, maybe an inch or two of accumulation there. Our uh, weather photo for tonight comes from uh, Ann Tripke in Fox Lake. Take a look at that uh, contra uh, trail in the sky there uh, as a plane makes the curve and that contrail just held on for a while. Submit your weather photos through our uh, First Warn weather app or you can send them via email to firstwarn at WISCT TV.com and we'll highlight one every night on the air. Upper level winds still from the southwest, so even though it'll turn a little colder behind a cold front, notice we're still going to see temperatures above normal as the unsettled weather pattern continues through the weekend. Planning your day for tomorrow, temperatures start out around 30. I think we'll just be dry for most of the day with lots of cloud cover. Around freezing by uh, 9 a.m., lunchtime temperatures will be in the upper 30s. Look for high temperatures tomorrow, top out at around 40 degrees with above nor or above freezing temperatures everywhere across the area. Uh, planning your day across Dane County, high 38 in Mount Vernon, 40 in Middleton, 38 into Forest for tomorrow. Uh, here in Madison, looking for a high temperature of 40 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Should be dry during the day. Again, snowfall tomorrow night into Sunday, less than an inch most areas, unless it gets a little colder in a few spots, then we could see an inch or two of accumulation. First one, 7 to 10 day forecast. Temperatures upper 30s to around 40 degrees through the weekend and into the early parts of next week. Maybe another chance for snow showers from Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then dry weather for the end of next week with highs in the middle 40s. Rain showers from Saturday afternoon into Sunday, maybe mix a little snow there, and then temperatures drop back into the middle 30s by Monday the following week. And coming up in sports, oh, how sweet it is. Wisconsin back in the Sweet 16 thanks to a couple big-time performances. Now the Badgers brought out the brooms again. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We're often asked, is it really free to hire Gruber Law Offices? The answer is yes. The call, the consultation, free. You pay nothing until we win your case. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Roast beef. Four for ten dollars. Yeah, you know. That classic RB. Roast beef. Roast beef. Four for ten dollars. Arby's, we have the meat. Pick and Save gives you so many ways to save. On top of our lower than low prices. Enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Plus, our weekly sales will keep your budget merry and bright. So get rewarded and save. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. This time of year, we gather, we celebrate, and we remember the things that matter most. For us, that's you. And you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care, because the way you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health, know how much you matter to this world. Culligan Water takes pride in being your local water experts. We live here, work here, and dedicate our lives to improving our area's water. We deliver the world's best water treatment and the industry's best service to you. Culligan Water, your local water experts. When you can find the perfect gift for your loved one's homes for under 500 under 300 and even under $100, just in time for the holidays, there's only one thing to say. Oh, my mom! Bob's Discount Furniture. 
Trust Gruber Law Offices to get you back in the game. Our team is available 24-7. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. When it comes to the NCAA tournament and the Badgers, the Sweet 16 is pretty much a guarantee. Wisconsin has advanced to the Sweet 16 in each of the last 10 seasons. That's a decade of sweetness. UW looking to make it 11 straight trips, just have to get past Miami, who they swept in the regular season. First set was a bit of a battle. Sarah Franklin doing what she does. The cross-court kill, one of her 13 on the night. Then later in the set, Izzy Ashburn with the back set to Devin Robinson, and she brings the heat. Badgers, though, trailed for a majority in the first, but Anna Smack brought out the hammer. Team high, 15 kills from her. Wisconsin takes it in straight sets. They'll face Penn State Thursday in the Sweet 16. I think we practice a lot for big moments. So even, you know, someone say, like, for example, this is Temi's very first tournament with us, and, I mean, she's coming out there confident and taking courageous swings. So... I think it's honestly how we train and the mentality that we go into the match with. Um, you know, we're confident in ourselves and what happens when we stick together in our plays and that carries us through and that's what's giving us another opportunity in this tournament. Mike Hastings' message to his team this week is simple. Protect home ice and be ready for anything against Ohio State. The Buckeyes are winless in the Big Ten, so they really have nothing to lose in this series. Wisconsin trying not to be the first one to lose to Ohio State in conference play. No score in the first. Zach Schultz comes up with a loose puck and then just fires one on net. Good things happen when you do that. Schultz he lights the lamp to give the badges the lead. And that would be the game winner. Wisconsin shuts out Ohio State. 3-0 the Raise final. The Wisconsin's men's basketball is approaching the gauntlet part of their schedule. Their next three games, number three Marquette, a road trip to Michigan State, and then they're headed to Tucson for a date with second-ranked Arizona. But first things first, it's the I-94 rivalry against the Golden Eagles, a team that likes to push the pace. Shaka Smart Squad enters Saturday's showdown, averaging 81 points per game. You know, obviously they want to go, uh, and we've done that a little bit more this year, but, you know, we've always kind of had the, we got to be able to control the pace and do what we do and not get sped up too much, but not get slowed down as well. So, uh, I mean, I feel like we're really just going to kind of play our ball. Um, I feel like every game we play, it's about us, and so that's going to be taking care of the ball, um, doing what we want to do, force them into tough shots, get the rebound, um, and really just kind of wear them out. So I, th I think at the end of the day, it's we got to do what we got to do. High school girls hoops, La Follette hosting Memorial in a Big A battle, and it was a big night for Elena West. The Lancer senior takes it to the cup for two plus one, and that one was a big one. The free throw was West's 1,000th career point. She joins Megan Rogers as the only other Lancer in program history to be in the 1K club. West finished with 22 points, but the Spartans would continue their hot start in conference play. Kennedy Harden knocks down the triple as Memorial beats La Follette 69 to 65. We're back after this. It's that time of year again, America. So let's light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology, space, and flexibility for any season. Get special offers on our adventure-ready SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks and make the holidays bright with Ford. Now choose FlexBuy on Escape with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 FlexBuy at 1,000 low APR. Ford dealer. Les Miserables, still the world's most popular musical. Experience the breathtaking production that leaves both audiences and critics awestruck. Les Miserables, February 14th through 18th at Overture Center. Tickets available at overture.org today. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey, and we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years, we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need, because they're a part of them because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Bye. Bark.
Embrace the season of giving at the Century House. Donate $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power, any stressless recliner and ottoman, or any stressless home office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Salon Pos, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pos, it's good medicine. He sent me to at U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. News 3 is seeking top sales talent to join our media sales team. We're not just hiring, we're building careers. Apply at channel3000.com. Unlock your earning potential and be a part of something big. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. The northern lights were visible early this morning right here in Wisconsin. This video comes from Spooner in northwest Wisconsin. Just look at those stunning colors. It doesn't seem real. It's a result of a strong geomagnetic storm. That's it also gorgeous. helps, too, when you uh, have clear skies. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> kind of hard yeah. to see it around here because of the cloud cover. And uh, next couple of days will be cloudy as well, but temperatures will be on the mild side. The snow is pretty well ended here in Madison. Uh, high resolution radar, maybe some flurries south of Platteville, south of Darlington that might be near the Wisconsin Illinois state line. Uh, six hour feature track radar shows most of that snow staying along and south of uh, the line into Illinois. Uh, visibility dropping around four miles in Waukesha. It might be a little patchy fog overnight. Temperatures right now right around freezing. Madison exactly at 32, a little colder up toward the Dallas. And thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good and have a great weekend.